it wasn't long before I uploaded my first videos that I got uh, haters sending me things like you're not good enough in some areas and that like a lot of dislikes are being put on my videos it made me wonder why do we have uh, haters around why do people hate uh, someone who is trying to help the world be a better place like why does this ever happen why does it happen to me when will it stop I remember back then I was alone in my room praying about it I asked God why do people hate me all I'm trying to do is to help people but a lot of times people can't appreciate the things I do did I do anything wrong one thing about me is that I tend to take these internet relationships and um, take it as personal, like just as in a in-person relationship, and oftentimes like I can't really like handle it, and it, it just feels really personal to me every time. People say that you should ignore haters. The more you respond to them, the more attention you bring to them. Like, it will die off soon enough and they eventually like, just move on. It kind of helped me, but I felt like it wasn't enough. That feeling that you just want to write back to them with cursing and swearing just overwhelms me. Sooner or later, that feeling led me to thinking that like, if someone does that to me, then I can do that to others just to make myself feel better. Right? A few weeks later, I opened up the Bible and read it. I was reading Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 where it said Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. After reading the verse I felt there was a lot of compassion uh, coming from this verse. It felt like Jesus was trying to show compassion to whoever uh, was in need and that no matter where, like, where you come from, like, He still shows that compassion towards you. I then felt like another question popped in my head saying like how do people become a hater? Like, it wasn't until I realized that the pain that they go through to actually say those uh, hateful things like it's always easier to hate someone than to be nice it takes time and effort to be nice to treat someone and build a relationship with them and it only takes seconds just to demolish it. For anyone to go down that like, path of pain, it's always easier to go to the, the, the road that leads to hate, and that road will always lead to doom. But you don't have to take that road. Somebody else has already done that, and is willing to take all your pain and suffering, and everything that condemns you into himself. That man is willing to carry all that burden inside your heart because he loves you. He cares for you and he doesn't want to see you fall down and you don't have to worry because he himself has conquered death. All he's asking is to lay down your sins and repent and accept it as your savior. Someone who's actually trying to save you from your pain, your suffering, yourself. And that man, the one who conquered death and his compassion and love for you no matter what you've done in the past is Jesus you